What's going on guys, Robert Welkner here of CoinOp TV and on this episode we're talking Gears of War 3. Hello, anyone home? Knock knock, we're just passing through. We just need a hand to get back to my shit! So much more diplomacy. All right, guys, now when it comes to the Xbox exclusives, it's always been about Halo and Gears of War, and I've always been more about Gears of War than I have Halo. So I was really excited to find out that Gears of War 3 would finally be coming out. It's out September 20th, 2011, and it's worth the wait. It's bigger, it's crazier, the gang is all here. Marcus, Coltrane, Dom, one of the Carmine brothers is a new character named Sam, a female character that they introduced. Alright, so one of my complaints with Gears of War 1 and Gears of War 2 has always been the dialogue and the cutscenes. No matter how insane the game combat was, running around killing and shooting people, I always thought the cutscenes were rather cheesy, hokey dialogue, uh, bad acting in animation if uh, such a thing exists. Well, rest assured that Gears of War 3 is better. When it comes to writing, when it comes to the acting and the cutscenes, I'm surprised. The characters actually look a little more human. They're not so beefy and buffy and crazy and all. Like Coltrane actually looks like a guy you might see on the street. I mean, he's still huge. And things are pretty extreme. But hey, Baird seems like kind of a cool guy you want to hang out with. Some of the jokes aren't so bad, so that's a big plus in my book. Now one of the other issues I've had with Gears of War, and especially with number two, was the extreme uh, overuse of on-rail scenes. You know, I'm not really a big on-rails person at all in a game, so if you give me an on-rail scene, it better be really kick-ass. And so far, you know, about three hours in this game, I think I only had one on-rail scene where uh, Coltrane and the fellas were coming down a little uh, zip line there and you had to shoot for a bit, and that lasted like three seconds, and that was it. So, uh, you know, props to uh, Epic and the boys, less on-rail scenes. Alright guys, now at the core of Gears of War franchise, it's always about the combat. I love the cover system, I love the melee, getting in there, the chainsaw with the lancer. Guys, Gears of War has always done it right since the beginning, and it's even more polished and pronounced. One thing that's a little different is if you played Gears of War 2, you notice a lot of the combat was a lot of this corridor fighting. You sort of going through tunnels and buildings through corridors. Now Gears of War 3, we're back to sort of the original formula where guys would be popping up all around you. Instead of the emergence holes, there's these vine things that pop up all over, and they spit out these dudes around you, and you have to sort of shoot the dudes. You got to shoot the vines while they're spitting out dudes that so that causes like some extra chaos all around you all right so some of the new bad guys in gears of war 3 are these tentacle like dudes that are really organic while you're fighting them and getting them pissed off they'll start growing these extra tentacles they'll start shooting lasers and blasting at you with fire and then there's this other crazy guy who's got like one arm that will throw fireballs and huff fireballs at you no matter where you are if you think you're behind cover no worries for him because he'll just toss a little fire fireball over that wall and get you and then if you're sort of trying to get up in his grill he's got this little crazy arm that extends out and will just blast you in the face and the graphics and the effects for that character alone are so insane it was like the fireballs coming at you in 3d but it wasn't in 3d but you know it almost felt like it all right so another really huge improvement i'm noticing with gears of war 3 and the combat mechanics is the destructible cover now guys you know forget about just peeking around buildings or boxes or whatever waiting for dudes to pop up if a bad guy sees you and knows where you're at he's gonna blast away your little crate or your box you're hiding behind and you can do the same thing to him so it makes the game a little more faster pace there's a lot of more flanking and surrounding and sort of using your uh, your teammates to kind of get in there and eventually it's all gonna come down to the melee the, the retro lancer charging in and stabbing people in the back or chainsawing guys it's bloody, it's crazy, you're going to feel the intense moments as you're playing Gears of War 3. Alright, so there's always going to be a downside of games, right? Now there's something weird about Gears of War that from day one that's always bugged me, and that's when you go up to invisible walls. You know, you think you can walk further, you think you can walk off a ledge, and you can't. And I don't quite get it, and this kind of takes me out of the moment of the game, because a lot of times I want to jump off a ledge for a shortcut, and I can't because there's an invisible wall there, or there's an area that you think you can walk through, but you can't. So I don't know what's going on. I mean, I know you guys are going crazy with the graphics, you don't want to limit to the scope of things, but put a rock, put a wall, put something in the way of me walking through things. Alright guys, so there it is. Better combat mechanics, better dialogue, less cheesy cutscenes. 
It's a fun game, Gears of War 3. What do you think? Are you playing? I got some audio commentaries going on right now, so make sure you click in the descriptions to check out some of my Let's Play walkthrough videos of me talking while I'm playing with uh, Marcus and the boys. So for CoinOp TV, like, favorite, comment. Let me know what you guys think of the Gears of War franchise. For CoinOp TV, we'll see you guys next time.